This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at calculating standard Gibbs free energy changes using Gibbs free energy of formation values. So let's start with a definition. The standard Gibbs free energy change is the change in Gibbs free energy measured under standard conditions. These conditions are a pressure of 100 kilopascals and a temperature of 298 Kelvin. Here's the equation that we use to calculate the standard Gibbs free energy change. So the standard Gibbs free energy change for a reaction is equal to the sum of the standard Gibbs free energy of formation values of the products minus the sum of the standard Gibbs free energy of formation values of the reactants. Standard Gibbs free energy of formation values for a variety of compounds can be found in table 12 of the IB data booklet. Next, we'll have a quick look at the standard Gibbs free energy of formation. So it's defined as the change in Gibbs free energy when one mole of a compound is formed from its elements in their standard states under standard conditions. So here we have the equation for the formation of one mole of ethanol from its elements in their standard states. So two moles of carbon and three moles of hydrogen and half a mole of oxygen form one mole of ethanol. The standard Gibbs free energy of formation value for ethanol is negative 175 kilojoules per mole. So next we look at an example. In this reaction, ethene reacts with steam to form ethanol. In this table, we have the standard Gibbs free energy of formation values of the reactants and products. And here we have the equation that we'll use to calculate the standard Gibbs free energy change. So next we input the values into the equation. So we have the sum of the Gibbs free energy of formation of the products minus the sum of the Gibbs free energy of formation of the reactants. This gives us a value for the standard Gibbs free energy change of negative 14.4 kilojoules per mole. The negative sign tells us that the reaction is spontaneous under standard conditions.